Wow, there's so many plugs on one table. <laughs> Not real plugs, I promise. I don't get paid by these people. But, um... What's that? It's your, uh... Favorite YouTuber with, like, 30 subs. <laughs> uh, G Sneakerson 24 uh, Before we get started, if you could go down below and click subscribe and uh hit that bell uh so you're notified whenever i get uh a new video out there i'm gonna start putting them out more um it's like five o'clock in the morning right now and i have to get this video out because i'm leaving soon to ship these and i wanted to make this video to show you uh these sneakers before i mail them out but here we go here they are so this is my new camera, my new used camera. I'm so pumped. I've never had a camera before. But um, this is what I'm going to be starting to use um, for YouTube and for better pictures. But um, as you can see, this is the homegrown skate shop. Ithaca, New York, $104. I was able to procure the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro OG Quick Strikes. And um, I'm trying not to get the flash on there for you. But, uh, yeah, size 12. Yeah, I love these SD boxes. Get out of here, Quaker, Quaker bars. Um, so, these shoes are stunning. Embroidered pigeon. It's what everybody wants to see, right? But there are so many details on the shoe guys. Let's just get both of them out. It comes with two pairs of laces. Two extra pairs, the white and the green, and it has the black in it, and it's got the pro, the fat tongue. Oh god, I just want to try these on so bad. You have no idea how bad I want to keep these. <laughs> but, um, funny story, so Ithaca is about two and a half hours away from me boy, and, um, He's released last Saturday. Uh, the store opened up at 11 o'clock in the morning. And we, well, when I say we, I mean my girlfriend and I. Um, you can follow her on Instagram. It's at swimmingly so. The word swimmingly and the word so put together. Um, her and I went to Ithaca, New York. Uh, the night before, so Friday, and we sat out, so, or we, we got a hotel room, we checked the store first, um, I didn't really see anybody, there might have been like one or two people, but we went back to the hotel room, um, took a few pictures of some shoes I just got, and then we got hungry, and we were gonna go, <laughs> go to Subway, and check the line again, and then we checked the line and there were like eight people <laughs> or nine people already sitting so we were like oh my god because it was 14 hours until the launch and it was negative eight degrees <laughs> outside and we brought so many clothes and so many blankets and two really expensive like outdoor rocking chairs so like 
her and I sat in negative eight degree weather for 14 hours to get two pairs of these. <laughs> I loved it. Thankfully, it was with 17 really cool people because it would have been terrible if it was like your typical crazy launch line with just, you know, mean people that mean spirited. I have been around some of those launches where like the people there were just like not friendly, but this was a really cool group of people. Um, we all got to kind of know each other. I mean, you're out there 14 hours braving the cold, but, but back to the shoe. These are the, they went to, back to the fat tongue. And the cool thing about this shoe is like, he wanted the new, um, by, by he, I mean, Jeff, Jeff Staple, he wanted the new tech in the, in this heel on this shoe with the icy sole, which I mean, come on. Look at that. But I guess that was that was something that they couldn't do. But it's what he wanted. So Nike like figured out a way to do it. And um so this is kinda like the first shoe to ever be able to combine like an icy sole with this heel and with the new tech. But it, oh and the fat tongues just look so much better. And on the side, it's like, you know, like another nod to resellers. It says staple, <laughs> but they kind of squished the T and crossed out the M's because to make it look like it said sample, not for resell. Kind of like a nod to all the other shoes that have come out that were, you know, not for resale type, you know, type thing, but... I don't want to pull the insoles completely out because I'm selling this pair, but they are gorgeous. Just the little subtle details on these really put this shoe over the top. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, you guys obviously see the 3M on the on the heels, but let me just show you that one more time. Those are gorgeous. Really wish I could keep these. <laughs> but. I gotta come up. Make some extra money. Christmas. Made the. Uh, the money funds drop pretty low. And this is gonna help. So. You know. It's just one of those. Losses. That you gotta take. But you know what. It was still worth it. Because. I got a pair and I got to see them. This is probably the, the only time I'm ever going to be able to see a pair of staple pigeons in real life. And it was worth it to own them for three days. I mean, these are mine. <laughs> but um, if you stay tuned, I've got some really, really cool videos to show you. Um, I've got two personal pickups that are very cool. And I can't wait to go over all the little details and tell you the cool story about how I got them because I got one pair really cheap um and other than that this is pretty much the video I just wanted to get a quick little video out there for you guys of the review of the sneaker by the way I mean like this is like a really really fine like type of nubuck suede on this um black part wait hold on is the nike swoosh 3m on the other side no it's not but they did the whole um medial side of the sneaker a different color on the swoosh which is another thing that nike's kind of been playing with lately on multiple pairs but yeah this shoe is badass and i think it would look really great with like one one shoe green lace one shoe black or like maybe mix them up a little bit like that you know what i mean but because that green lace whenever i get the uh i don't know about you but like whenever you get a jordan one or dunks that have multiple laces and the one lace is always like to match an accent color i always feel like the accent color looks better 
for some reason. You know what I mean? Like with the, like the shadows, I think it looks better with the pop of the gray laces and the pine greens. I think it looks better with the pop of the pine green. But um, I always leave one black and then change the other one just to give it a little bit of a difference. But again, I don't want to make this video too long. I hope you guys liked it. And again, I hope you like and subscribe. And um, also, I am starting my own website. I have started building that. And it's basically going to be like a sneaker blog. I'm going to um, give you guys quick links to all the drawings and raffles of all the shoes coming out. Like all the hype shoes. All the shoes that are like collabs. Stuff like that. I'm going to be blogging. Um, what else am I going to be doing with the website? I'm going to I'm gonna be... Um, be because I, I, I can't make it. I can't sell directly off a site, but I can link it to a PayPal. So I will be able to kind of um, sell my shoes off of the site as well. But um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up to look for that in the future. And uh, key. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I have two more videos coming out. So again, if you just like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll be the first ones to see them when they come out. Thank you. Peace. Have a good day. Pan the pigeons.